We're here with Skip's Tactical Solutions. I'm here with my buddies. They're going to talk to you all about some of the new products that they have coming out. Yeah. So um, thanks for having us on. Um, we've got a whole new lineup this year in 2020. Uh, what we've done is with a lot of our products, we've uh, done complete redesign from end to end and really want to focus in on how end users are, are using our products. So um, you'll see a lot of favorites like Trident, you'll see Pentagon, you'll see Vision, Flash. They've all been redesigned, but we worked with a lot of end users to understand how they use it and took all of their learnings and applied it here. I mean, it's part of our rebrand. Um, we, I mean, we still SOG, but we just unpacked it. Um, SOG stands for Studies and Observations, <laughs> Observations Group rather. And um, we have, it's part of our process where we study, observe, understand, apply, repeat. I mean, it's, it's an OODA loop, essentially. And so that is now part of just how we do business every day. So all of those learnings over the last two years came into forming this. So to, to dive into it straight away, um, Trident, it's been around for quite a long time. What we've done with Trident is really just rethought how it functions. One of the big key uh, bits of feedback that we got from professional users is they love the um, line cutter, seat belt cutter in here, but it interfered with the belt, um, belt clip before, so we cleared that up, we made it wider. Um, also, the safety, we used to have it just on one side. One of our approaches is, and this is a big key insight for us, is sometimes you're not going to be able to get to your strong hand because your, your off hand is, is busy doing something. I mean, while we love our lefties, it's not about lefties or righties or whatever. It's I have to be nice to lefties because my uh, product uh, strategy director and our designer are both left-handers. They're always like, what about me? Anyway, it's not, not even about that. So um, it's more about sometimes you're going to be holding something with your um, strong hand and with your off hand, you want to be able to you know, work with it. It could be a defensive situation. It could be just practical. You're holding um, you know, a piece of rope or cargo netting or whatever it might be and you just got to you know, get through it fast. So all of our products you're going to see from now on are completely ambidextrous. So with, um, with Trident, you can see just from the outset, we have on the spine the safety. So that way you can operate it with either hand without having even to look. So it being on the spine, it's great because you can just use your thumb in a natural motion and you get this really nice tactile click and it's always a forward motion because that's kind of the way you're moving in. When it's red, it's good to go to um, release the blade. I'll just close it like this. Um, this is an assisted open. It's, it's pretty much as fast as an automatic and pretty, I think for the most part, legal to carry everywhere. Um, so Certainly more places than an automatic would be. Yes. <laughs> we've also improved the texture. So we've got glass reinforced arm for the handle. So it's still, still pretty light. And um, we've got a grip on there that's very similar to what you'd find on a Smith Wesson MMP Mark II or a, say, you know, P365 from Sig Sauer. It's that omnidirectional grip. So when it gets wet, bloody if that happens, or muddy, you're still going to have a nice grip with no railroading, which happens when you have those kind of like patterns that go in a, a certain direction. So really grippy. Um, all the steels have been improved. Our cheapest steel, if you want to call it that, is D2. So that's our baseline, which is a pretty pretty decent um, sort of um, strength and sort of property type steel. And it's been cryogenically treated to bring the most oh, yeah. out of the steel. So we, we have a process that we uh, process particular to all of our steels, and we pretty much do it with every single one that we cryogenically treat it. So what it does is it relaxes a lot of the, I know it sounds weird, but it relaxes the, um, the structure a little bit um, as it cools down. So that way it's less prone to chipping and better durability and that kind of thing. Um, Trident has a glass breaker on the tip, seatbelt cutter, wire clip that you can mount on either side. We couldn't make that fully ambidextrous because you don't want to have two clips. Some people do and they love it, but we prefer just to do one. We're going to do the wire clip because it sits better on the seams and uniforms and that kind of thing. And and that is Trident. Do you have any other thoughts on? No, I mean, like you said, to develop with user feedback, we put this in the hands of a lot of guys in uniform and said, what did you like? What does it need to have? And how does it need to work and function? Ambidexterity was a huge point. That's why we got that on basically everything we're designing going forward. Yeah. You need to be able to use either hand, and some people just are left-handed. Yeah. So. At, with using the same technology, we've also redesigned Flash. So the design has become a lot more streamlined and simpler. 
the, the insights that we got from end users with Flash was, for the most part, they want to have something that's a little bit low viz. Mm -hmm. So the clip's been redesigned. We, we no longer have the SOG, SOG, SOG logoing over everything. While we're still proud of our brand, we just didn't think it was appropriate. We, we want something that was proudly one location. You also see on the blade on these guys that it says Studies and Observations Group on there. Um, so we, this is another way of unpacking, reminding people what our process is and what we believe in. But um, we took a lot of that same technology as in Trident and apply it to Flash. So it's got a more streamlined look and feel, the exact same safety mechanism, the exact same assistive technology open. Um, all of these come in very different blade shapes. So for Trident, we have a Tanto, we have a tan uh, serrated uh, clip point and a, just a straight clip point. And then we have um, a serrated version as well for Flash. Um, these all come in a variety of colors. So before, SOG used to be known for black and silver. Can't do anything other than black and silver, which, I mean, I love black, you know. <laughs> and don't we all, right? It goes with everything. But sometimes it's just not appropriate. Sometimes you just want something different. So for the daily stuff, we've got colors that are more appropriate to what people are wearing. So we've got this cyan, we've got urban gray, and of course, black mm -hmm. with tridents. We've got flat dark earth, um, OD green. dark OD green, black, and black and red. And then you'll see with our uh, sort of higher end products, we've got more sort of G, uh, G10 uh, variants. So there you're going to see more flat dark earth and, and olive drab, which brings us to the um, XR lock. So the XR lock is a evolved crossbar lock. That's what XR stands for. And a lot of our products, we test up to about 3,000 pounds of pressure with lock lock up. So once this locks up, it's staying there. It almost feels like a fixed blade. Give that a, a bit of a wiggle. You can see what it's like. So it gives people the assurance that when they need to work with it, it's not going to do anything weird and close up. But the benefit of it is you get all this strength in there, which quite often is stronger than a liner lock or a frame lock. But you've got a evolved mechanism that makes it very easy to open. And again, ambidextrous both sides. People often criticize us for why do you have a kick and why do you have a, a lock and then why do you have a thumb stud? Isn't that like belts and suspenders? I'm like, sure. But it, again, insights from users, professional users is I want to have multiple methods just in case. Let's say I use the kick and it gets impeded on open. I want to be able to have something that I can lock my thumb against and bring home. I mean, the other thing is there's a lot of fidget factor. I know, you know, it's a professional product. Is fidget factor a, you know, a consideration? I'd say yes. We love to play with things. All you day, know, every day, open Yeah, you should see meetings in the bin building. It's often this kind of a thing. So, you know, um, you can open it multiple ways with the thumb stud. You can open it with the um, XR lock by pulling it back and flicking it out and obviously flicking it back in and then the thumb stud, uh, sorry, the kick. So it's a very versatile um, uh, system. So we we believe in it so much we've applied it um, on a lot of our products. So what we have here is the um, redesigned Pentagon folder. So XR is a designator that we use for folding XR lock products. As you'll see, we use AT at the end of um, Trident and Flash to talk about assisted technology products. So Pentagon has been made specifically for slicing and penetrative sort of use. So that's why the blade is the shape that it is. We worked with uh, Special Forces guys, a lot of defensive uh, combat guys, and we uh, optimized the blade width, length, profile. You'll see that the tip is sharpened just on this edge here, and that's specifically for the purpose of um, just improving the penetrative um, cut. The back isn't sharpened to provide some safety to, to, the, to the user. The back is smooth. We haven't put things like on Trident, a persuader, sometimes called a, some, mm -hmm. some people use a glass breaker or those has a glass breaker. We haven't put things like this on here because quite often we've got the feedback that sometimes you're gonna be striking the ends of Pentagon because of the shape. And you, if you do that with a glass breaker, yeah, you're gonna be doing weird things. So that is uh, Pentagon, the new Pentagon design. And uh, very specific combat dagger. Vision is more that multi-purpose um, Tanto, so it has uh, option serrations. It's got sort of a more of a um, less.
less omnidirectional sort of uh, shape on the on the handle. Um, but all of these, you're going to see, you've got a very pronounced design language that just screams, "I'm made for professional use. I'm made for daily use," and so on and so forth. Um, they use a higher end steel. Um, these ones are, I believe, um, no, they're, they're, they're XH, CTS XHP. XH, XHP. So um, I was about to say S35VN, but we have that on this guy here, <laughs> which is the Ultra XR. So we were just chatting before, and we we're talking about what we love. I mean, everyone comes past; they love Ultra. Mm -hmm. um, Ultra before in the CTI version um, was a little bit buffer, a little bit bigger, kind of looked like a trench knife, which was kind of cool, had a cool aesthetic. But we wanted to go sleeker with um, the Ultra. We've got, you know, just everyone carrying it. Guys, gals, um, they just love how slim uh, factor it is. It was designed as a money clip, um, but you know, it is incredibly thin and light. You can wear it all day without even noticing it, but it's got an incredibly substantial blade. Very, um, very comfortable in the hand. It has the XR lock, so we don't have a thumb set on this because we want it to be very slick coming in and out of the pocket and also not interfere with your credit cards or money and that kind of thing. You can open it two ways again as well with the uh, thumb hole or you can use the XR lock to sort of flick it out. Um, another first for us is um, we have titanium nitride on every single one of our blade finishes. It's incredibly durable. You can have a great range of colors. So we added some gold here. Um, everyone's really loving the gold. It's crazy. Everyone's asking for the gold. Uh, today I'm carrying it, but I'm carrying it in the, the graphite uh, colorway just because I'm going for more of a black tone, surprisingly. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're, we're getting really great response for, from people on this. And the funny thing is people beyond using it as a money clip is really kind of thrilling us because we want to make tools that aren't just good for, they're not just fit for purpose, they're fit for greater purpose. I know it sounds like a marketing line. It, it's something that we really believe in. And when we design something, we want to make sure that, you know, we starting to think about what people are going to be using it for beyond just, you know, cutting cords and, and whatever else. So It's a knife for somebody who doesn't want to carry something in their pocket but needs to carry it. Yeah. Absolutely. So the final item we have on the table here is, is parachutes. Maybe you can demonstrate that, um, Alec. Yeah, so these are our parachutes. Uh, we've got them in two different colors. We've got the red and the black, um, and I'll all black out. The nice thing with these is these are compound leverage for the shears themselves. If you're familiar with our multi-tools, you know you get twice as much plier force as you put in a squeeze force. We've done that as well with the shears. That also makes them easy to open with one hand, like I just demonstrated. You can be stabilizing a patient with one hand, removing clothes, whatever you need to do. Still the shears after you're done using them. That way you can toss the sharp, not have to worry about putting your knee on it, a hand on it, dragging somebody over it later. In addition to that, we've sort of got this all in one, hit, one kit for the first responder. We've got a tungsten carbide glass breaker that folds out. You have an O2 wrench integrated in the body of the tool. You've got a belt cutter. And then all sorts of other stuff too that you don't necessarily need all the time, but it's handy to have so you don't have to carry around more products. And tweezers, rope cutter, bottle opener, because always all those shifts are long. It doesn't matter how short it is, it's always a long shift. So all those just fold out, all lock open, ready to deploy. The pouch this comes with is Molly compatible, and you can store the shears either open, depending on what your department's requirements are, what your personal preference are, or closed. Nice. We talked with a lot of uh, power rescue guys, um, especially out in Colorado where you know they're, they're flying through thinner air. Mm -hmm. And for them, every ounce, every gram counts. Mm -hmm. And so when we showed this to them, they, they were really thrilled by it, that it's already lightweight, mm -hmm. and then it's got additional tools that they would usually have on a multi-tool. So you know, we, we talk about power shears as being a multi-tool shear, not just a, a pair of folding shears. So you know, where, where we think it's different is it's super lightweight, but it has this extended sort of capability inside of it. Yeah. And as far as the capabilities, I was part of the testing process for this. I've put mine through over 200 linear feet of rawhide without any issues. So yeah. it'll go through just about anything you can expect it to on the Including job. an autoclave. Including an autoclave, yeah. yes. <laughs> so so that's, that's the majority of our lineup for this year. This is just the start of where we're going with the brands. And you can see a lot more focused designs for the rest of 2020 and 21. Okay, so the prices on this, what can we expect around about? So, ball parking price, parachutes are going to be in that $80 range. Um, Tridents are going to be about $105, just with the extra glass breaker and the features, coatings, etc. cetera. Uh, for the everyday carriers, we have the flashes. They're going to be closer, again, to that $80, $90 range. It's something that you're going to not break the bank to have, but you'll be a little bit sad if it wanders off on you. When we get to the fancier stuff, like the Ultra XRs, those are going to be closer to about the $150 range, carbon fiber, titanium, upgraded blade steels, etc. For the Vision and the Pentagon, those are going to be at that sort of premium tier level. Pentagon's going to be right around $200, it sort of depends on where you can find it, but $188.95 is our MSRP on that. 
and then the vision is going to be a tiny bit less than that. There's just slightly less machining to do with the Tonto than there is with that double-edged dagger style. So it's going to be about that 160 to 70 range. Parachutes are already available, and uh, the rest of this lineup is going to be available closer to end of Q2, beginning of Q3, so mid-year. Nice. All right, so talking to them, you guys obviously know that they have something for everyone. And if you are carrying EDC, make sure that you have something here to complement your EDC. I know I always have a knife with me, but as you can see, we have something for the end user that may need some medical. And then we also have it if you just want to carry something, but you don't want to carry something that may be considered a little too much. So I really appreciate them telling us all about their new products. And I want you guys to comment below and let us know what you think.